These are all the parts I have left for my 12 inch, 30 year old Craftsman drill press. You can say that I had a little accident. So I'm drilling this piece of wood and the bit gets stuck in the wood. It grabs the wood and it starts spinning it around. As quick as I can, I hit that power switch, but it was too late. The shaft was bent. Now, I probably could have figured out how to replace the shaft, but this thing was 30 years old. It was rusty. Sometimes you just gotta know when to say when. And this is when. My new when 12 inch variable speed drill press. If you happen to be in the market for a new drill press and you're wondering whether or not the when is the right one for you, that's exactly what I was wondering. Let's open it up and find out. I bought this drill less than two weeks ago on Amazon and paid 249 bucks. Today I checked and it's 277. Home Depot has it listed at 299. I saw some new and used ones listed on Facebook Marketplace for under 200 bucks. As I'm putting these pieces together, I can tell that this thing is solid. The steel pieces are thick and beefy. This rotates smoothly on the shaft. The only problem I had putting this drill together was with the shaft. This tapered end fits into the slot in the shaft. By turning this, it's supposed to drop into the shaft slightly, but it didn't. So I had to be really careful to make sure they were lined up perfectly. Once I got them aligned, I gave it a good whack with a piece of wood and a dead blow hammer. While I have the drill down, I thought I'd take a look under the hood. It's not like my Craftsman where I had to move a belt in order to change one of the four speeds. This unit goes from 580 to 3100 RPM simply by moving this lever back and forth. Did you know that you're supposed to adjust the speed settings of your drill based on the material you're cutting? Whether it's wood, aluminum, zinc, brass, iron, steel, and the thickness of that material as well as the size of your drill bit. Now, I have to admit, I was pretty lazy when it came to drilling. When I had my Craftsman drill, I left it set at one speed and cut pretty much everything at that speed. There's a nice guide in the manual, which I made a copy of and taped it up here. So now I have no excuse but to follow the instructions. And this drill makes it really easy just by adjusting this lever to change the speed. It also has a nice built-in light that's out of the way, and it has an adjustable laser that you can lock in to perfectly center on your material. The manual also includes some tips on making sure everything is aligned properly. I'm not gonna get into all of that. I just wanted to give you a sneak peek at the WEN 4214T 12 inch variable speed drill press. I think you're gonna be happy with it for under 300 bucks. I hope a year from now, I'm just as happy, but I won't know for sure until I get a chance to beat on this thing for a while. I'm Tom, this is Allie Picked, and thanks for watching.